and right now we are joined on India Post Live by Manjulata Kalanidhi herself. She joins us on uh, Google Hangout. Hi, Manju. The ice bucket challenge you were just talking about it. Of course. Well, I've heard about. I've uh, seen my friends taking it, and when I, so I was curious as well. I asked them, so how do? You, what is this about? Some of them were like. Not really bothered about what the cause was. I felt like, why do you do something just because if it's a Western fad? Perhaps it's very relevant to the, you know, a little bit of uh, arrogance. If I should we do that, uh, that challenge and a bit of local, chalo desi kuch karenge. I think everything put together and it took birth as the rice bucket channel. Uh, it's very important. In fact, I didn't expect it's going to be so big. Mm. But now that like lakhs of people have joined, we've got like some 5 lakh 40 thousand like, uh, you know, people have seen it and 60 thousand likes. I think it's very, it's important on me and I am responsible for starting this. So I better be careful, ensure that it's sustained <laughs> and the, you know, the tempo sort of uh, stays on for more longer. It shouldn't be like a mad fad that ends in about a week. A lot more has to be done. I think at the end of the year, every Indian should have donated something or the other. That is the initial target. And for now, I think I'm, I'm sort of not diluting the concept. In fact, I did get a lot of uh, suggestions from people saying we should do that. Very good, great suggestions. Mm -hmm. But for now, I think Indians don't want to be diverted. So let's stick to rice for some time. Let's really rise up and then we can think of something.